you guys are ready to see this look, then let's get into it. This came in the PR box that I got. So this has all the information about the Destination Diva collab. So I have, oh no, she better don't. But there is another one called Boy About Town. And that one also features the red lip color. This is the olive and nude lipstick kit. So here's the inside of the palette. We have a quad of four shades. And obviously you guys know I love the olive green in here already. So I'm excited about that. But I really like the color, the packaging and the feel of it. It does give me like old Hollywood glamour vibes. Like it makes me think of like Taylor Swift Wildest Dreams music video, like old Hollywood glamour, like that type of vibe, which I love. I think it is so unique and I think it's so, so pretty. Love the brown and the gold detailing. It has Patrick's name on the front. Downside about this palette is there's no mirror. So, and I really do like using a mirror in my palettes. It makes it so much easier. So I'm just gonna be using my little Ricky skinny mirror today. This is what I usually use in all my tutorials. Patrick's other collapsed Mac do not feature mirrors either. So it's pretty consistent throughout each palette. So each of the kits that feature the eye quad and the lipstick are 1850 US. So that's really, really good. Honestly, to get four MAC eyeshadows and a liquid lipstick, that's a great price in my opinion because a lot of their products are a little more pricey. If you are buying this kit, I think it's really nice that you get an eye product and a lip product together. I love the colors, very fall, and I'm ready to put these on my eyes. So let's get into the tutorial. So to prime my eyes, I'm gonna be using the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I also really love Painterly. These are one of my favorite eye primers. And every time I stop using this and use something else and I come back to it, I realize just how good it is. And this one is a brand new one. I just got a new one and it's so creamy. You do have to get a new one after a while. They do get dry, kind of similar to a concealer, but I feel like it performs like a lot better than one. So I'm just gonna smooth this onto my lid and I'm applying a pretty generous, like thick layer of it. Using my Vera Mona color switch to clean off my brush because I was doing a Halloween look last night and we cannot get like burgundy or black shadow on my eye with this look. This is a lifesaver by the way. If you need to clean your brush really quickly, this is the best way to go. And I got this one on Sephora, but there's all different kinds of them out there. This one is just the original one. It's called the color switch. So I'm first gonna pick up this soft caramel color and this is called Sugar Stick. I'm gonna go ahead and start placing that in the outer corner of my eye and bringing it into the crease. And I'm just taking a little more of that color sugar stick and I'm gonna blend it along the lower lash line just to connect all that color together. So next I'm gonna grab the olive green shade in this palette. It's called Damn She Olive. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid and it's really pretty. It has like sparkles in it. So I'm hoping those sparkles stay because it looks really good. It's very pretty. Just gonna lay that right all over the lid. This is definitely a much darker green than it looks like in the pan. It is really, really muted. It's like a greenish brown. It's described as a blackened olive, which I think is really, really a good description of it. Earlier in the tutorial, I used this shade here to start the look. This one actually is called Deception, and this one is called Sugar Stick. So I'm gonna pick up Sugar Stick, and this is more of a shimmer, like a metallic color for the lid. And I'm actually gonna pop this on the lid, pick that up with my brush, and I'm gonna wet my brush now. So I like to use Fix Plus to spritz the brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And now I'm just taking some more of that color and tapping it with my finger. So I'm gonna use my Patrick's powder, which is from his very first collab. I love this powder, it is so, so nice. It's a really pretty, very light pink shade, so it is brightening, but it's really nice to bake under the eyes with. But I like to use it to actually shape up my eyeshadow, so I'm gonna bring it really close to where I've blended. I'm gonna pack on a pretty decent amount of it and just stamp it straight across like that on both sides. 
And now we're gonna let that sit for about three to five minutes and it'll give us a really clean eyeshadow line. So it'll be nice and kind of blown out, but still sharp and it's not like dragging the eye down. For instance, you see in this picture how snatched Patrick's eyes are, they're like cat eyes. I like want my eyes to look like that. So that's why I put the powder underneath because it really almost lifts your eye up instead of making it drag down. So his shadow is so like, it's like sweeping up. It gives such a beautiful like windblown effect. So I want my face to be really snatched. So that's why I use the powder. And once you start doing that, it's literally so addicting and you cannot stop. I do this almost for every look and it makes such a difference. So I'm gonna be trying out these new lashes today. They're from a brand called The Bold Face Makeup, and they sent me these, so I really wanna check them out. I've never heard of their brand before, but these lashes are so beautiful, and I really wanna try them and share them with you guys today. So these say bold on the front, but I believe this is a style, although they're called The Bold Face Makeup. Some of them are more bold than others, and they say they're 3D lashes. So I'm taking the Natasha Denona eyeshadow, and if you guys have never tried the Natasha Denona black shadow. You will never want to use any other black shadow again. It is the best ever. And I have the Gold Rush one and I also have the matte one, but I'm gonna use Gold Rush today. It does have a little bit of sparkle in it. And I'm gonna tap off my brush because you don't need a lot of this. It's really pigmented. And I'm just gonna go into the crease of the wing and just blend a little bit of black shadow into the eye just to define it. Now I'm gonna apply the lip color that comes in the kit, and this is a liquid lipstick. It is a really pretty, warm, nude color, and it's called Ultimate Diva. Here's the packaging. It is really pretty. You have the bullet top, like all the MAC lipsticks, and it is this really pretty packaging with Patrick's name, and I love the color and everything with the gold. One thing I also really like about MAC liquid lipsticks is the applicators, so it's really round and really easy to apply. 